this bow, y'all. Well, y'all, this is cute now. Y'all can't tell me this ain't cute. This is just precious. And look at that gold just kind of peeking through, y'all. Y'all, it's not very hard to make a pretty Christmas bow. We're going to show you how tonight. Let's get started. I have a bow maker. This is called the 4-in-1. It's on the Probo page. Regina Sellers is the maker of this. Or you can get an easy bow maker. I don't remember the person that made that one but you'll need a bow maker if you can't work with your hands pair of good scissors i use zip ties and chanel or chanel okay let's get started first i have and all the ribbon tonight i'm using is from sam's club okay so it wasn't it's not really expensive ribbon all right tonight we're gonna start out with a two and a half inch I think I want some 15 inch tails. So that's what we're gonna do, 15 inch tails. You're gonna put, slide it in the, between the dowels, and then you're gonna put, scrunch it down and twist. It's getting in my way. I'm just gonna unwind me some and uh, put it down on the floor so it's out the way. I don't like, that's what this little dowel is supposed to be for, for you to put your spool of ribbon on it, but I just, I don't like it that way. It gets on my nerves. <laughs> so, anyways, this is, um, we're going to make a five and a half inch. Now, we're just going to do a five inch loop. So, measure out to your five. Okay, measure out to your five, and this is my five. You're gonna slip that down between that dowel again. You're gonna kind of scrunch it up. You're gonna make sure your loop is nice and pretty. Okay, and it's at five inches, y'all. It's at five inches. All right, so we've got our little, our little uh, rabbit ear, our little <laughs> I can't remember loop. <laughs> At five inches, I put the I put the ribbon down in between the dowel rod, and now I'm gonna take that ribbon and I'm gonna twist again. Okay, you want to keep your pretty side up. Okay, that's why you're twisting. Plus, it makes it better cinching it in the middle. Okay, we went out to the five inch on this side also. We made sure we got a pretty loop. Okay. Some ribbon is harder to tail. You have to be really paying attention. All right. Now, I'm going to look at this tail, how long this tail is, and I'm going to put this one. I like my tails sometimes the same length, and sometimes I like one longer than the other, but tonight I'm going to make them the same length, okay? They're both going to be 15 inches. Fluff it out. I want to look at it. I want to make sure it's good before I go on to my next layer. Okay? And that's what I'm doing now. All right. I like it. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a 10-inch piece of ribbon Okay, you don't have to do this, y'all, but I'm going to do it tonight on this bow. Get you a 10-inch piece of ribbon. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to dovetail it, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and dovetail it. To dovetail, all you got to do is take it, do it in half, fold it in half, and then cut at an angle, okay? And then you get the pretty dovetail. We're going to do that on both sides, y'all. Both sides. Okay. Now, got to see which side is. You have to. I'm looking at the hem, trying to figure out which side is which. I think this is the top. All right. I'm going to scrunch it up in the middle. And I'm going to put it down in this dowel rod, between the dowel rods. And I'm going to just point it up. Okay, it's just going to be a little something extra. 
like I said, you can skip this step if you don't want the, this your bow to look exactly like this. You don't have to put that strip of ribbon in. Okay, we're going on to our next strip of our our next ribbon, and it's also from Sam's Club. It's this pretty, pretty um wreath ribbon. It's got blue in it, red in it, gold, green, a little bit of a pinky color. We're not really going to bring out that pinky color tonight. Let me drop it down here on the floor. All right. I'm going to measure out my tail. I, to do this, I just go by the guide on this first tail I did. Okay? And I want it a little bit shorter. And I, while it's in between there, between the dowel rods, I want to twist my ribbon, y'all. Don't forget to twist your ribbon. So, see, now we're looking at the back of the ribbon. This is the back of the ribbon. So what we're going to do, because, because we twisted, now we're going to go in between the two dowel rods. See the two dowel rods I'm going in between? I'm going in the, between the two dowel rods. And I want this loop to also be at five inches. Okay. Now we scrunched it down between the dowel rods again. It's the pretty side up. So what do we got to do? We got to twist it. So take your ribbon while it's kind of scrunched up in between those dowel rods and twist. All right. We're going to go five inches again and we're going to slip it between the dowel rod. And you can either measure five inches by on your uh, board or you can look at this one here because we made this, this first loop, we made it five inches. So you can, you know, do it either way. Look at it either way and tell. All right, now this one we're going to do four loops in all. Two loops on each side. So I put it back in. You see, I see the pretty side. Okay, I've got to twist it again where it's scrunched up there in the middle. Got to, got to twist it again. I'm fluffing it. I want it to look. Some people like smush their bows as they're going. I like to kind of look at mine and make sure I'm getting it right. Okay, we got it twisted. You see that we're seeing the bottom, the ugly side. Now we're going back in with five inches. We're going to measure off of these two ribbon tails. Scrunch it up between those two dowel rods. We're going to take a twist. Because we got one more loop, y'all. We got this one more loop with this ribbon. I twisted it. So now we're seeing the, the back of the ribbon. And now I'm going back down. I'm going to measure this ribbon with... Hold on. Let me scrunch it down. And scrunch it down evenly, y'all. Don't get it cattywampus. Like, longer on one side than the other side. Sometimes I get mine a little cattywampus, but, and I'm just checking to make sure I like all my loops before I go on to my next. Okay, I'm going to measure out this tail a little bit shorter than the gold. I want it a little bit shorter than the gold. Now I'm going to take that same ribbon and I'm going to cut another 10 inch tail. When I say a 10-inch tail, I meant a 10-inch strip of ribbon. Let's just say that. A 10-inch strip of ribbon. I have to remember not everybody knows what I'm talking about sometimes. All right, I'm just folding it in half. You see I fold it in half. Fold it in half and cut it at an angle. And there we go. There's our, there's our pretty ribbon. Can you see that? Okay, and then we're going to, let's bring it back down here. We're going to put this one in, find the center, take it after you found the center, squinch it up down there in the middle and pull it up. Oh, this is going to look good, y'all. I like this. I'm really, I'm really liking this, even though it's got the blue in it. You know, to me, blue is just not really a Christmas color, but hey. It's working today. And our next ribbon, this is the whole reason 
I chose these two ribbons is because of the blue. Like I said, normally I wouldn't think blue for Christmas, but nutcrackers and stuff like that, I mean, they have blue in them. All right, for your length on your tail, you're just looking at the length on these tails, okay? With each, with each row of ribbon, you get a little bit shorter with your tail, okay? But we'll cut those and make them right. Okay, y'all see I smushed down, I'm smushing down this ribbon. I'm going to twist. See there, I twisted it. Now, we're going to go, I wanted these all three the same, the th the gold and these two right here. Um, but this, the this is a one and a half inch ribbon. I want it shorter, y'all. I really want it shorter. So, we're going to go a good inch shorter, okay? I squished it down in the middle, cinched it, you know, got it squished down and tight, and I twisted it right there in that middle. I'm going to make my loop on this side the same exact length I made this one on this side. So, I'm just going to kind of look at my loops and guess. When you're guessing, this is what you can do when you're kind of guessing, or this is what I do. I just take, hold on. I take and put two fingers there so, to keep them, you know, in. And then I just kind of put, kind of put two fingers and hold them up. And make sure the bunny length, the bunny ears are about the same. That's how I tell if, if I'm... You know, all right. Now we want a 10 inch strip of this, also. So we're going to cut us a 10 inch strip. This is easy enough, y'all. And with one inch ribbon, sometimes one inch ribbon has got popular. With the one eight, one inch ribbon and the like five eighths and the seven eighths ribbon, I don't, I don't dovetail them. I just cut them at an angle. I mean, you do you. I like sometimes I do just. The angle, sometimes I do dovetail. But this this bow looks really formal, kind of. So, I'm I'm making the dovetails because, you know, it looks a little fancier. Find your middle, put it, stick it down in that middle, pull it up to the top. We're giving our up tails just like we're giving our down here tails, okay? Now, we're coming along. This is our last ribbon, y'all. And this is a pretty red that they had at Sam's Club. It's it's like a shiny red, but it's not like sequiny or nothing. It doesn't have it, and it doesn't have uh, it doesn't have glitter on it. Okay, look at your tails. Make sure that it's you got it long enough. Take it down in between the dowel rods. Okay, push it down, twist it. Okay. Now, this ribbon, this tail, I want to be even shorter than I did this one, okay? We're getting really kind of short here now. I want it to be about a good inch shorter, okay? So, I got my loop there. It's going to be shorter now, but I got to twist again so we don't see that, you know, stitching on the, on the sides, the, the underside of the ribbon. You want to see your top side of your ribbon. And I'm going to do this one the same way. I'm going to kind of eyeball it. You get kind of good at doing it once you've been doing it a while. Just eyeballing it, you know. All right, let me stick two. Look, look I'm going to hold them up. Are they about, they're about, they're, they're pretty much the same, I think. All right. And then we're just going to go down with our tail. Now, we, what do we got to do? We got to cut that 10-inch tail for the top. 10-inch tail for the top. Y'all, you, I could have cut them longer. You know what? 12 inches would have probably looked pretty. But I, I, you know, I just, I don't know why. I just chose 10 inches. But like I said, you do them whatever length you want them. If you don't like the tails at the top, just omit that step, y'all. Just don't, don't follow through with that step. All right. I got it folded in half. Putting at an angle, y'all. There we go. What are we going to do? We're going to find our center. Or about our center we're gonna put it in here between the dowels and we're gonna let it go down and we're gonna have it scrunched up oh y'all this is look and this let me show y'all what it's looking like on the bow on the uh bow thing 
Here it is on our bow thing, y'all. Well, this kind of fell sideways. But anyways, it's going to look really good when we get it cinched up with our zip tie. Now, I use zip ties most of the time because I like the way it gets it really tight, tight in the center. This is a, this is a six inch zip tie, okay? It's just a small zip tie. You don't need nothing too big. All right, I'm going to take and I'm going to slip it underneath here, underneath that first layer of ribbon, okay, y'all? You got to get it under all the ribbon. Let me see where it came out. Okay, it came out. All right, now I know I got it. So I got to, I about needed an eight inch. Okay, I'm going to take and I just, I just come around those zip ties. I mean, around these dowel rods and I get my zip tie started. But now then, okay, this is kind of a hard part, but. I mean, the more you do it, the better you get at it. Um, you have to, you have to take this, just take it up. Okay. You see, my zip tie is not really in the center, y'all. My center's a little bit over. So what I'm going to do is, okay, then I want to make sure that the zip tie, the back up, the cinch up part, I want to make sure the cinch up part is on the back. I'm going to cinch it a little bit. I'm not going to cinch it tight though, y'all. I'm not going to cinch it tight yet. I want to take and I want to get a pipe cleaner. I've got a black here. It For this, it doesn't too much matter what color your zip tie, I mean your, bow, your Chanel stem is or your pipe cleaner. But, I mean, you know... I'm just trying to stay generic or cohesive or whatever. Like when I'm doing a grapevine, a lot of times I'll use brown to match the grapevine. So the so this doesn't stand out so much. Okay, this right here is going to be my way to tie it around a lamp post or just whatever you want to tie it to. But right now, we're going to come back, and we're going to look at this. Here it is, kind of smushed up. I'm going to take, everything looks good to me, I think. Um, I'm going to take, and I'm going to cinch it a little tighter. That zip tie, just cinch it a little tighter on the back. Because I kind of looked at my loops, and I liked where everything was placed, so I'm going with it. I'm committed. Okay, I see something right off the bat. I hadn't totally zip tied that, uh, I hadn't totally cinched up this zip tie, and I'm glad I didn't because this little, somehow or another, it happens. I think this one is, this one is longer than this one. Can y'all see that? It's, it's a half an inch or so. That that ear is a half a inch or so longer. So I got to take this tail right here, okay? And I got to try to pull it. I got to try to pull that ear down. Now let me check it. Oh, I did it. I got it right. Okay. So see, I was only able to do that because I hadn't totally zitched cinched it tight okay so that's what i'm telling you just constantly be checking making sure your loops or your ears or look equal and all that kind of good stuff all right now i think i'm happy with everything so i'm gonna take on the back of my bow and i'm gonna cinch it tight y'all i'm gonna cinch it tight oh i broke it off okay these are just little bitty zip ties. They're, they're not made of much, but they, they do good. They serve the purpose. All right, so we're going to take, and we're just going to kind of fluff out, see what we got here. I'm excited. I want to see this baby come to life. Okay, this right here, you had two. Remember we did the, remember we did two of on each side of this? 
right here. So we had four loops total of this, not just, not just, uh, and I got to pull them. I want them pulled apart, those loops. I want them pulled apart. And let me tell you why, because we got this gray back here that, I mean, not gray. We got this, uh, gold back here. I want it to kind of just peekaboo out, y'all. I don't want it to really, it's just there to kind of, I don't know, just that little extra touch. Just that little extra touch, y'all. It wasn't necessary to even put that, that first layer of loops, but I wanted to just do something a little extra. Extra, extra. All right, now we pretty much got it. We pretty much got it poofed out. Now what I want to do is I want to look at these top tails. I'm going to straighten out these top tails, and I got to look at them. And the tails don't need to be, they need to be a little bit shorter with each time. Okay, I can see this one's a little top, well, not really. Okay, and then this one, I like it. I like it. I think I'm going to cut this one a little bit shorter. It's not quite even. Didn't get it quite even, but that's okay. You can always trim. Then, this one, the red, I want the red to be shorter than all the rest of them. Okay, y'all? Because it's on top. I just want it to be shorter than all the rest of them. So I'm going to cut it short. All right. So we got the bow pretty much puff, poof, you know, out. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to fix all these tails. Fred, can you come lift the camera back up for me, darling? All right. We're just going to take and fluff out these tails and make them look pretty. Because right now, they're just kind of all squished up and there. All right. Look at this bow, y'all. Look, y'all, this is cute now. Y'all can't tell me this ain't cute. This is just precious. And look at that gold just kind of peeking through, y'all. Hold on. Let me show you. Can y'all see the gold just kind of peeking through a little bit? Okay. Now, let's, like I said, let's work with these tails. All right, our first layer was our gold layer. We got the, that was our starting length. We didn't dovetail them, so we got to dovetail them. Because we dovetailed everywhere else, so we want it to look cohesive and, you know, nice and neat. All right. Got that done. Now we're going to this ribbon right here with the with the um the wreaths on it. Okay. We want this to be a little bit shorter than the gold. So here we go. There we go. A little bit shorter than the gold. Let me get this one a little bit shorter than the gold. Now it's this ribbon, and we want it to be a little bit shorter. Then the wreath ribbon. Okay. So I'm folding it in half. I'm looking down. And okay. So with each ribbon, y'all, we're going a little bit shorter. All the way to the top of the bow. So here we go with that one. Oh, that one didn't turn out pretty. I got to redo it. This one here, I left way long. All right. This is our last ribbon. And we want to cut it, You get, like I said, you're just cutting it at an angle. And we want it to be shorter than the one underneath it. So with each ribbon, we're just getting gradually getting shorter, y'all. Just gradually getting shorter. And kind of look at the, the one on bottom and let that be your judge of where to cut. All right, y'all. This is our bow we made tonight. I hope y'all like it. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. If y'all like this tutorial, y'all don't forget to like, subscribe, and push that bell notification so you know when I'm going live next time. And I'll see you next video on the next video. <laughs>